The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus moved about within Galilee. He did not wish to travel in Judah because the Jews were trying to kill him. But the Jewish Feast of Tabernacles was near. But when his brothers had gone up to Jerusalem to the feast, he himself also went up, not openly, but as it were, in secret. Some of the inhabitants of Jerusalem said, Is he not the one they are trying to kill? And look, he is speaking openly, and they, have, and they say nothing to him. Could the authorities have realized that he is the Christ? But we know where he is from. When the Christ comes, no one will know where he is from. So Jesus cried out in the temple area as he was teaching and said, You know me and also know where I am from. Yet I did not come on my own, but the one who sent me, whom you did not know, is true. I know him because I am from him, and he sent me. So they tried to arrest him, but no one laid a hand upon him because his hour had not yet come. The Gospel of the Lord. We find Jesus now in Jerusalem for what's called the Jewish Feast of Tabernacles. The Feast of Tabernacles, also known in Hebrew as Sukkot, is one of the three festivals that every Jew in the empire would have to go on pilgrimage to Jerusalem to go. So that's why when you hear the language, oh, the brothers went to go up to the feast, because they're speaking about all the Jews had to go to Jerusalem. So the Feast of Tabernacles, Passover, and Pentecost, these three great Jewish feasts, the Jews, no matter where you lived, you had to pilgrimage to Jerusalem. And this Jewish Feast of Tabernacles is also known as the Feast of Booths or Shelter. So if you're a practicing Jew and you're, they still celebrate the, the Feast of Tabernacles today, they, they built a shelter, say in the middle of, of the wilderness, they built a shelter in order to help them remember what marked the Jewish people as different than everybody else. It's because they had the presence of God with them. That's, that's why the Jewish people are always so unique throughout history. They had God dwelling in their midst. And so the feast of, sh of, of, of booths, of shelter, of tabernacle, represented God's presence in their midst. And that word tabernacles, of course, as Catholics, should mean a lot to us. Because all of that background is why in the center of all of our churches we have the tabernacle here. And the red light there. Because it signifies all that which this feast of tabernacle was pointing to in the Jewish time period now was fulfilled in Christ. Jesus in the gospel says, I do not come on my own because of the one who sent me whom you do not know is true. Jesus in the flesh now comes in our midst. God literally dwelling among us. Now for us to penetrate this deep mystery, we must also always remember to reflect upon what true love is. Just think about our human relationships. When we grow in love with one another, I have to make myself vulnerable to you. See, this is why a lot of people are afraid of love. Because I have to open up my heart to you. And I will open up my entire life to you, all of, all of my secrets, my vulnerabilities, and my weaknesses. I have to open up my heart. In order to enter into love, I must become vulnerable. It's by definition. You cannot love when you put walls above your heart. You cannot. Because in order to love, I have to give myself to you. Therefore, if I give myself to you, I have just given you the ability to hurt me. Because you know my deepest secrets and, my, and, and, and where I'm, I'm most vulnerable. And it's a, it's, a, it's a tremendous responsibility that we have for us who enter into relationships. Because now I have to care for you. And I've given you a, a, an ability, a privilege. 
God does that with humanity. God will send his son into the world, his beloved, as John 3, 16 famously said, for God so loved the world that he sent his only son (laughs) into the world. God becomes vulnerable to humanity, and he will dwell among us. And not that, that story doesn't even end there. Now he will become flesh in the weakest and the most plain way in the host, which is why our tabernacles contains the bread of life. Why do we lock the tabernacle? Why in church law, we can't, when we expose the Lord, we can't leave him alone upon the altar. We always have to have somebody in, in the church present. Jesus Christ can never be alone when we expose him. Why? Because he's vulnerable there. And people, especially devil worshipers, will come in and try to attempt to steal the Eucharist. By the way, sometimes I hear this people like, why do we have people guarding on the Eucharist? Because at every single Mass, we have people watching. Even, even the, the EMs have to watch. Watch people who do not know what they're doing with the Eucharist. Because people really try to steal the Lord, and they will desecrate him. And amazingly, this is, even though oh, as heinous as that, as that idea is, it's powerful because, again, Jesus makes himself vulnerable to us. But he must in order to enter into love with us. This is why the Jewish Feast of Tabernacles is literally God dwelling in our midst out of love. 